okay. So this is a, let's talk about software. And we decided to work on how to create classes and methods and instance variables programmatically in Smalltalk. Okay. So here on the right, on the left side, there is a class browser. And now we will create, Marco will create actually, uh, a new class and uh, methods, etc., uh, from the playground, which is outside of this. And this is really cool because this means that we can communicate with our compiler and the compiler will actually do the things. Hmm? So the first instruction here, this is a method, correct, Marco? Yes, this is a method on the object object. On the class object, object, object. Object class, class object. Okay, we send the method subclass. So this means create a subclass named my counter mm -hmm. with instance variable, no instance variables, uh, and um, and uh, and uh, no class variables. And this should actually belong to the package my package. Okay, so now Marco will execute this. We execute it, and you can see here on the left that it has created the class. And this is interesting because you see class not reference, et cetera, so but we actually we created this uh, sending a message from the outside. And now we are going to check if this really works. So we create an instance of this counter. Okay, I have created my if I I can open the inspector also okay. programmatically. It's nice that in a small talk, everything works sending messages. Okay, so this is our the inspector. And if we go and we can check on cell, for instance, I think. And yeah, and this is exactly our okay. counter. Okay. And now we want to do something strange. So we want to add an instance variable. So to do this, we redefine what the my counter is. And in this case, we expect to have this new instance variable. You can see here it added the, the, the value. Variable. Okay, and also in the inspector, I think we could actually. I think we have to refresh maybe. Yeah. yeah. And here it is, and this is the the value nil, of course, because we never initialized this variable. And this is um something interesting now. Now we want to uh, invoke a method increment, but this method doesn't exist. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have this sort of exception. That's not really an exception, but the, the system says, mm, we don't understand, yeah. it doesn't understand increment because nobody has ever implemented this. And this is exactly what we want to do programmatically. So not from our environment, now we define. You see, this is really cool because we say, we send a message to my counter, compile, and then this is a text, okay? So let's see what happens when uh, when we send this message. You see, boom, we have the method. So the object model has, uh, receives these messages and reacts and reacts creating this, this object. Now we have increment. So we can actually ask for send this message to increment. And if you know, yeah, we have another problem because value doesn't have a real value. Okay, so it doesn't have, it has a nil. So nil plus one, that's not a good thing, okay? Um, and now what do we do? We we compile another method, and this, me this method is useful because we can set the value, okay? Here it is. Here it is, the value, and this is also okay. And now we can use this uh, method to define that our value is zero. And, and you see that the inspector now has changed. And now we can increment this uh, this value. Yeah. And we can change the value, set another value. Yeah. And we can increment this new value. You see, we are using all the methods that we have developed outside uh, programmatically. And and now we can also we can also develop another method, which is value return value. So we want to it's a getter. Yeah, we want to know the value. 
what the value is. Okay. okay. So this is the symbol means return. And down if we do this, 101. Huh? So this is really interesting because we can do all these things, sending messages to objects, and especially class objects, and sending messages, this message compile as an argument, uh, a text. So we can actually write a, a text file uh, with all these things and, uh, and uh, a simple program uh, can run this. Why did we do this, Marco? What, did, what was the original idea? Uh, to see how uh, how we can uh, actually develop while uh, debugging, so exactly. because we, we can, can actually... create the class. Because, for instance, this is how uh, the um, particular way of developing can be done. So when there is uh, something missing, and the system says, "Oh, I don't know this method," well, we can implement a button that can create that method. Or if uh, the system says, well, I, don't, I don't understand, where do you want to put this method in this class? Oh, now we know how to do this. Huh? So if we have this really basic instructions, we can, and this is a, a really cool feature, huh? uh, develop our software with the help of our debugger, okay? Or a tool like that. So every time we run the code and uh, the system realizes, oh, I don't know this, uh, this method, I don't know this method in this class, we can push a button and the system can actually create these things. And 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 then we can go to the next step. And again, and again, and again. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you.